I'm sure many of you watching my videos for the first time had such reaction. Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> you know, watching me creating such complicated designs on clothes, painting freehand and making it look so easy. And I'm sure many of you think that to be able to customize your clothes, you need to have some extraordinary skills, you need to be very talented and that there is no way an ordinary person uh, can create beautiful, interesting designs on clothes. But that is not true. And you know, one of the slogan of my channel is uh, anybody can paint on clothes. And I truly believe that anybody, anybody who can hold a brush in hands can customize clothes and can create very, very interesting designs on clothes. And I'm gonna prove to you that in this video. Hello my friends, welcome to Art Fashion Channel, I'm Daria, the artist who paints on clothes and in this video I'm gonna show you five different styles, uh, clothes customization styles, uh, which any beginner can make. Like very very easy styles, some of them do not require any artistic skills. So I divided designs into five groups and I'm gonna start with the easiest one, uh, which doesn't require any artistic skills because if you don't know how to paint you know how to write and you can write on your clothes and you might say my handwriting is so bad like, it's not readable even well my congratulations you can create the coolest jacket ever with bad handwriting <laughs> Uh, and let me show you the examples. Uh, here I will put image and here I will put Instagram account of artists. So feel free to follow artists and show them you love. So uh, the first example, cool jacket. <laughs> and there is only lettering. Nothing else, so just words, quotes, phrases. But you know, the most important thing about this style of customization, don't write simple like words without any meaning like love hate smile uh, if you want to write on your clothes write something meaningful it can be a quote from your favorite book it can be lyrics of your favorite song it can be something motivational it can be something uh, which is meaningful to you you can ask your friends to write in your jacket you can ask your family to write some message to you like uh, make something meaningful because that is the whole point of customization, personalization. One more important thing about this kind of customization, that it should look messy. Like the messier your artwork is, the better. I mean, the messier letters, words and quotes, the better. You can use different fonts, you can uh, use such a big brush to write, you can use small brush to write, you can use fabric marker to write, you can use different colors, you can place uh, you know, one quote on top of another, uh, you can splatter paint, you can create paint splashes, like the more chaotic your artwork, the better. And let me show you one more example. Here uh, as you can see, the bottom of a uh, denim jacket bleached. So yeah, you can uh, create such different effects on your clothes. You can bleach the bottom of your jacket, you can dye the bottom of your jacket. And I have a video where I showed how to bleach and dye uh, the bottom of denim jacket and create such beautiful gradient effect. So watch if you, are, if you want to create such effect, watch that video. And yeah, as you can see, the bottom is bleached and then very, very messy lettering uh, made with such a big flat brush, I guess. Uh, and uh, also, not only denim jackets you can customize, you can customize leather jackets and leather jackets look very, very cool with such uh, lettering designs. Uh, as you can see here, uh, artist customized a leather jacket and then also leather hat and it looks so cool and uh, here um, artists used spray paint to create uh, letters and yeah you can use spray paint on leather jackets on denim jackets as well and you will create such beautiful beautiful effect but if you want to customize a leather jacket first watch video uh, on my channel where i showed how to customize leather jacket because uh, it's a bit different than customizing denim jackets i mean technique paints and so on and uh, here is one more leather jacket 
Uh, as you can see also uh, artists use spray paint, uh, there are paint drips, spray paint drips, then uh, paint splashes, lettering, different fonts, different size brushes. Here is one more denim jacket also customized uh, with lettering design. Also different fonts, different size brushes, paint splashes. Here is one more leather jacket, again spray paint. And yeah, cover your jacket completely with lettering, sleeves, front side, back side. And let me show you a bad example of uh, customization in this style. Uh, as you can see, artist tried to create such perfect lettering, tried to create such perfect letters and create such perfect composition. And there is only one size brush artist used and just one font. And it looks so boring. And also like the words Amor, Amor, Why Not, Yumi Yumi, Dollar Bill. Like there is no meaning like behind all that. Like you you can't see the person behind this jacket it looks like some you know fast fashion jacket you can find in any fast fashion store because you know fast fashion brands they don't care about your personality they care about your money <laughs> so yeah do not do such design if you want to create a design in this style uh, as i said you should create messy design chaotic design the more effects the better the more different fonts the better the more paint splashes the better and uh, write something meaningful, something meaningful to you. And not only, of course, jackets you can customize, you can also customize bags. For example, leather bag, so cool, just lettering, super dope. And also uh, here I have canvas bag. Yeah, here's canvas bag. Artist first created an uh, abstract background with big flat brush. And then on top of this background, uh, there's a more, a more, a more, a more <laughs> different colors used. Uh, very interesting design. And here's one more uh, canvas bag. Uh, no background, just lettering. But again, artists didn't try to create perfect letters. Uh, there's some, you know, big brush artists used and design looks very interesting. Also, you can customize sweatshirts, hoodies, like any kind of clothes. For example, here artists customize sweatshirt, also lettering and there's such a big paint splash. <laughs> and uh, to create such paint splash, you need to mix fabric paint with water in some cup and just throw paint. And I also have a video where I customized jeans, uh, such way so you can watch also find uh, on my channel uh, so yeah the more techniques the better the more things you know effects some paint splashes some spray paint brush strokes the more things the better the messier the more chaotic your artwork the better uh, and let's say uh, you created such uh, lettering design and you want to make it a bit more complicated uh, make it a bit more interesting what you can do you can add some simple graphic images nothing complicated simple signs simple images for example here artist customized denim jacket again lettering but uh, there is also an image uh, graphic skull and yeah it looks very interesting so if you have just a bit of these skills <laughs> to create some uh, simple image. It can be even such simple signs, for example, like here, as you can see, artist customized leather jacket and then uh, there is a lamp sign. Yeah, it's such a beautiful, interesting detail. It's so easy to create such detail, but it will definitely make your design a bit more interesting. Uh, or here, for example, again, leather jacket and just a, such a small crown sign. Uh, also looks very interesting and here a uh, puffer jacket <laughs> uh, I also have a video on my channel where I customize puffer jacket uh, you can customize puffer jackets and as you can see super cool uh, customization looks on a puffer jacket again lettering and simple graphic signs images there's an eye crown also the back side uh, <laughs> such a smiley kind of a face uh, yeah, nothing complicated, but looks very, very interesting. Uh, pajamas. <laughs> yeah, you can customize any kind of clothes. And even pajamas, like, so cool. Also lettering and simple, simple graphic images, graphic signs.
Here a bit more complicated uh, design, I mean complicated again just lettering, very very messy messy uh, quotes, phrases and skull image uh, there is also, wait, not only skull but some star, thunder, uh, again simple images, nothing complicated. These images make design a bit more interesting, a bit more complicated, a bit more interesting and here a canvas back. For the background, artist uh, used, it's I guess it's a stamp, stamping technique. So if you, have, if you have some interesting stamp, you can create beautiful background, as you can see. And on top of this background, artist uh, wrote, uh, quote, firework with me. And such bag looks very, very interesting, very, very cool. And here is very cool blazer jacket. I love it. Again, lettering and a couple of... Uh, graphic images, there is a skull, there is a girl, some kind of a tattoo inspired designs. You can find a lot of inspiration in tattoo designs, a lot of graphic images you can find uh, there, just search on Pinterest, tattoo designs, ideas, you can find a lot of inspiration and any such tattoo design can be painted uh, on uh, your clothes. So yeah, as you can see this group of designs, lettering, it's so easy and it looks so cool, so if you don't have any artistic skills, it's not a problem, just take a brush and just write, write whatever you want, write the story of your life, write some poem, like it can be anything but meaningful to you. And next category is minimalist designs and my previous videos was about minimalist uh, art. I showed you how to create minimalist designs on clothes and it seems that you loved that video, you loved that style. So in this video I decided to show you more examples of minimalist designs on clothes and uh, examples of how you can mix minimalist art with other styles. Uh, so um, here let me show you first uh, simple minimalist designs on clothes, uh, what you can do. For example, here artist customized denim jacket with minimalist art. Uh, you can actually uh, create um, such minimalist designs on any color jacket, but especially on white it looks so cool. Uh, you see just faces and yeah it's so easy to create such minimalist design faces and if you haven't seen my previous video go and watch it and you understand how easy actually to create such design. Uh, also you can customize for example face mask, why not? <laughs> uh, also looks very very interesting size design of face mask. You can customize shoes, I think it's very very interesting shoes just a minimalist design and a couple of phrases, a simple, easy, but beautiful. Like you don't have to create complicated designs to make beautiful artwork. Uh, and then here uh, artist um, created a minimalist art and then the background is watercolor background when you mix fabric paints with water and I also showed it in my previous video how to create such background and it looks very very interesting, such a beautiful touch, such a beautiful you know yeah how you can create a minimalist design more interesting is to create watercolor background or such abstract background and here also artist uh, created a t-shirt such oversized t-shirt such big size faces and then a watercolor uh, effect you know hairs cheeks uh, yeah looks very very interesting uh, and yeah it's so easy to create such design and then a uh, more simple sweatshirt without background but also looks very interesting, just a quote on the sleeve and just a simple, you know, faces, minimalist art faces. I would add, you know, a bit background but designs without background look very good as well. Uh, so uh, here is canvas bag couple, kissing couple, <laughs> also very beautiful, simple minimalist design art on a simple canvas bag. It's easy to create and it looks very interesting. And here is a leather jacket. Yeah, you can customize any clothes with minimalist designs. Uh, leather jackets, denim jackets, sweatshirts, hoodies, like beanie, 
bucket hat, like anything. So yeah, leather jacket looks very interesting too. So how to create uh, a bit more complicated designs with minimalist art or how to mix minimalist art with other styles? Let me show you the examples. For example, here artist first dyed t-shirt and then on top of this dyed t-shirt artist uh, created a uh, minimalist uh, design. Looks very interesting. Here is again sweatshirt. Um, again, first artist dyed sweatshirt and then uh, you can see very clearly but there is a minimalist design here at the center. Also very interesting. And here uh, artist created minimalist uh, medusa on the jacket or short, I don't know. And then very messy, you know, this writing and then paint splashes, you know, mixing styles. Very simple minimalist art and then messy, this background looks very interesting. Here again, simple minimalist design and on top of it, such interesting writing with such a big brush, very messy and it's like mixing styles, mixing simple with over the top. Looks very interesting. Uh, here is leather jacket, again minimalist art and just lettering. Spray paint I see here, paint splashes, mixing styles looks very interesting like always. And here again a leather jacket, minimalist design on the back of the jacket and then front side sleeves covered with lettering, also spray paint I see here, paint splashes, looks super cool. So yeah, minimalist designs are perfect for the beginners. They look very, very cool on clothes and if you mix them with other styles, minimalist designs with other style designs, you can create the coolest clothes ever. <laughs> and next category is graphic designs. Uh, graphic designs, uh, why it's easy to create graphic designs? Because there is no such things like shadows, highlights in graphic designs. You just draw your design on paper, a, some simple graphic design, then transfer this drawing from paper to a cloth using transfer paper. And then all you need to do is to fill in some, sh uh, you know, spaces to outline, to create some ornament, like nothing complicated. Let me show you the examples of graphic designs on clothes. Put up a t-shirt, just uh, smiley faces, so easy to create, but t-shirt looks very interesting. And here is a bit more complicated design, girl, sunflower, but again graphic design. And first you should create design on paper, you should draw your design on paper. And once you have design on paper, all you need to do is to transfer it to your clothes using transfer paper and just outline. Once you have a design on paper, it's not a problem to transfer it to create art on clothes. Here is also like dragon. As I said, you can find a lot of inspiration in tattoo designs. So this is a graphic dragon, also so easy to create it. Uh, I mean to uh, paint it on clothes. Like first you should create a design on paper and then it's so easy to uh, paint uh, this design on clothes. Again, uh, some tattoo inspired designs on hoodie. Uh, here again, dragon on jeans. And I guess artists used only fabric marker. Like so easy to create a design with only fabric marker, such graphic design. And here also a very interesting place for the wink. It's a graphic wink. But when you have an idea and the design, even such simple graphic uh, image can be turned into a very, very interesting design. I, and again, how to create a bit more complicated graphic design. Uh, you can again mix it with other uh, techniques, styles and so on. For example, here uh, artist first bleached t-shirt and then created graphic design, barbed wire and eyes and then uh, some lettering with uh, drips. Interesting, easy and cool. Uh, here uh, again, first artist dyed t-shirt and then a graphic snake on top of uh, this dyed t-shirt. Uh, here artist uh, painted graphic skulls and then some lettering. Also looks very very interesting. Here again artist first a dyed t-shirt and then on top of it uh, painted a lot of graphic images. Here again graphic uh, design and then some lettering on hoodie or sweatshirt, I don't know. Uh, here 
so beautiful again graphic image a graphic face and uh, such lettering beautiful with paint drips uh, here face mask again face mask are perfect for customization and here again sweatshirt first uh, artist bleached sweatshirt and then created graphic design and some phrase yeah so graphic designs are also easy of course a bit more complicated than minimalist designs and lettering but again it's easy like beginners can easily create such designs on clothes and next category is graffiti designs actually graffiti designs are very similar to lettering designs uh, but i decided to make a different category for them because uh, i want to show designs uh, with more images than lettering or the same amount of images and lettering the equal amount uh, and uh, here is for example a denim jacket customized in such graffiti style or some uh, designers call it chaotic style a lot of uh, images a lot of different graphic images a lot of also lettering uh, a lot of again paint splashes a lot of spray paint uh, like the more things the better the more techniques the better uh, and here for example let me show you beautiful so beautiful hoodie uh, here you can see like all styles minimalist style graphic designs lettering some ornament with some outliner made like a lot of things on one jacket and it looks so 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 cool uh, again one more uh, hoodie by the same artist as you can see again minimalist art graphic some uh, images lettering uh, paint splashes like so interesting it looks so cool and yeah it's not so hard to create like when you learned how to create minimalist designs graphic designs and lettering you can mix them all together and create uh, clothes in such as i call it, graffiti style or chaotic style uh, here you can see hoodie you can uh, paint some uh, cartoonish characters your favorite cartoonish characters uh, rick and morty for example here again not only uh, cartoonish characters but some lettering some graphic images some paint splashes here is one more hoodie with uh, rick and morty and here is a denim jacket with simpsons uh, as you can see it's so interesting also here's a t-shirt and i love it the bottom of t-shirt is bleached then there are some paint splashes lettering a graphic image so cool and one more t-shirt and uh, here uh, the sleeve bleached and again lettering graphic images some strokes so cool so beautiful and not so hard to create and here is one more t-shirt again graphic images some lettering uh, t-shirt is dyed i guess here are hoodies also made in this style cartoonish characters lettering graphic images uh, yeah like this is the mix of all the previous styles which i showed you and as i said once you learned how to create lettering minimalist designs graphic designs you can mix all the styles together and create even more interesting even more complicated artworks and the last category of designs i decided to name it uh, contemporary art because i just didn't know how to name uh, this category but it reminds me of contemporary art which i don't quite understand sometimes and i know that many people don't understand like there are a lot of discussions on the internet that how it can cost it so much money and like anybody can make something like that it doesn't require any artistic skills but actually it's not that simple and of course there is value in contemporary art and yeah such art looks a bit questionable for people uh, but this art looks amazing on clothes and so cool and so interesting and let me show you the examples of as i said the called contemporary art uh, it's not about you know artistic skills or you know creating the perfect you know realistic face or you know making the perfect composition or you know show how talented and skilled artist you are it's about you know expressing your emotions your feelings your opinion on some things creating some interesting characters you know drawing painting your dreams 
you can make side designs with any artistic skills. Like artistic skills, it's not important. Important is the idea, the meaning behind your artwork, your story, your feelings. And yeah, as you can see, this uh, style, this art looks so interesting, so cool on clothes. And I think that any artist, like any person who want to express uh, you know, feelings with paints, can create such art, can customize clothes with such art. Just remember, you know, when you was a child, how you wasn't afraid to, you know, to paint, to create some stories. Uh, like to draw anything you see. So yeah, you can remind those times, those days and try to create something meaningful, something to express yourself, I don't know. So yeah guys, if after watching this video you won't run to art store to buy fabric paints, you should unsubscribe from my channel. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, you shouldn't unsubscribe from my channel. But I mean, you shouldn't afraid to, to paint on clothes, you shouldn't afraid to mess it up. Because in these styles, which I showed in this video, it's even better if you mess it up, you know. And I hope this video was useful and interesting and if it was, please smash the like button to support the future of my channel and to make more people see this video and see how amazing clothes customization is and how easy. <laughs> and I hope to see you next time. Fashion is art. Bye-bye.